Such a fascinating story. The Wadosh group was centered on the Polish embassy in Bern in Switzerland, capital of Switzerland. Um, Wadosh of the name was Alexander Wadosh, who was the Polish ambassador in Switzerland. Uh, and it was six individuals, uh, three career diplomats uh, in the Polish embassy, Polish diplomats, um, one Polish Jewish employee of the embassy, and two uh, Jewish uh, activists, so um, involved with aid agencies and so on. And, and through that network, they uh, essentially collected applicants for Latin American passports, which the members of the uh, Polish embassy then forwarded to the Honorary Consul of Paraguay in Bern, who was a Swiss uh, solicitor, who produced those passports illegally and was paid for by either by uh, uh, the Jewish aid agencies indirectly or very often by the Polish government itself as well. Those passports were then sent back into occupied Poland and later on in the war to uh, occupied Holland as well, but primarily Poland, um, with the intention that it would essentially put the brakes on the deportation and murder of, of Polish Jews. It's, a, a, I think, a crucial addition to our knowledge of the Holocaust and our knowledge of uh, Holocaust rescue. So we've had this event this evening at uh, Trinity College Dublin, um, which was very well attended. I think we had, uh, I'm guessing, 150, something like that, 150 people. Um, very well attended. We had some fascinating questions at the end. One uh, chap even produced a couple of copies of Wadosh passports that he had uh, from his, his family, which is remarkable. I think it was, was fascinating. It went, went very well. It's, it's nice for me to sort of present something genuinely new to an audience, but I think it, it, it went down very well, I, th I think. It was an excellent event.